overall the goal of this project, not just mine, but the whole exhibition is really to uh, increase awareness of where materials come from and that there's an ethic about material usage. Um, and I think that that's sort of the newer ingredient over the last five, six years is um, that the designer takes a personal and professional ethical um, position towards where materials come from and how they're used and also uh, how they're distributed. So I think the project overall has been one of exploring formal possibilities within the ethic of conservation. We went to Santa Cruz, Bolivia, very industrial city that is the sort of seat of a major forestry project that the Nature Conservancy is involved in. And Santa Cruz was interesting because we were able to see some factories where furniture is being produced in a very traditional way. Knowing that we are working with an industrial product like plywood, which is a major, major commodity for Bolivia, we wanted to make a, a chair that was sort of sited somewhere between these two poles of sort of high design and vernacular design. We also visited a trade school, InfoCal, that had a very sophisticated CNC routing machine. The furniture design that we created was really all about exploiting the possibilities of um, CNC routing, where you can actually inscribe, uh, cut the chair out of a single sheet of plywood. Part of the ethic of the project was to really maximize the material usage. So for every four by eight sheet of plywood, we actually yield three individual chairs as a final design. If you look at the details of the chair, you'll see a key mechanism within one of the struts below the seat that locks it in place. And it's sort of a, um, an amazing thing to think of a chair that has literally no glue, apart from the glue that's in plywood. We love the idea that this furniture might enter the vocabulary of what InfoCal produces, and that it is in some sense a chair that was born in Bolivia, um, you know, raised briefly in Brooklyn, but might um, ultimately become associated with that particular place and time of the places that we visited in Bolivia.